Nuclear engineering builds on the principles of general engineering knowledge, but adds to it the special nature of radiation generation and radiation effects. And in 1956, nuclear engineering was created as a curriculum at Missouri S&T. In 1963, we opened our nuclear reactor. Nuclear engineers work alongside other engineering disciplines, oftentimes to solve problems that require knowledge of radiation. Nuclear engineering is one of the safest and cleanest forms of electricity. But nuclear engineering is so much more than just that. Nuclear engineering offers a lot of career options for our students. One thing that our students do right here is get into the reactor operator training. Many of our students become senior reactor operators as a role by the time they graduate. A lot more earn their reactor operator's license by the time they're graduating. Now, those licenses are not transferable between our reactor and, say, power reactors. But the principle that you learn in earning those licenses are applicable for the big power reactors. So, a lot of utilities have the confidence that our students are well prepared for a career in their establishments. Some of our students who do not go into operations may also go to serve in management and decision making roles in other nuclear establishments. For example, a lot of startups like New Scale, Terra Power, X Energy hire our students because of their preparedness to work in that environment. Another place where our training takes our students is in space application of nuclear. Many of our students continue their education in the medical field. Most people don't think about nuclear engineering as part of the medical field, but a lot of procedures in the hospitals are nuclear in nature. Oncology or cancer treatments, many of them are nuclear in nature. Imaging techniques like CT scan, PET scan, MRIs, these are all nuclear in nature. So our students get training in this area too as they go ahead in their career and some of them end up being doctors or working as nuclear physicists. To start, you're going to learn a lot of math and a lot of physics as well as some fundamental engineering topics like basic mechanics, material science and metallurgy, thermodynamics and computer programming. You're also going to take some courses to improve your technical writing and communication and help you become a well-rounded professional. Uh, then you're going to start learning some fundamental nuclear engineering topics like neutron physics, reactor design, uh, radiation detection and measurement, how reactor materials are affected by radiation, and the importance of heat transfer in nuclear systems. Uh, you'll also have the opportunity to take some electives to focus your degree on topics like health physics, reactor engineering, uh, nuclear safety, public policy, and nuclear medicine and imaging. Uh, then this will all culminate in a year-long senior design experience where you work with a team of students, choose either a student-led or an industry-sponsored project idea, and then create a well-developed design plan by the end of your senior year. Uh, about 95% of our graduates are able to find a job within six months of graduating, and our average salaries tend to be in the, the range of $65,000 a year. Then this curriculum is supported by a number of hands-on lab experiences, including our Missouri S&T nuclear reactor. One of the crown jewels of the Missouri S&T campus is MSTR, which is a 200 kilowatt pool type nuclear research reactor. Achieving criticality in 1961, MSTR is the oldest nuclear reactor in the state of Missouri. Although we do not generate any electricity, MSTR is used for research, teaching, and training. In fact, as early as your freshman year, you have the opportunity to participate in a comprehensive reactor operator training program. This is the first step along the path to becoming a licensed nuclear reactor operator. Uh, we have a couple of student organizations that make our students very successful in their professional career. And one of the most important the prestigious one is American Nuclear Society. At Missouri SNT, we have American Nuclear Society uh, chapter. And if you join in as student chapter, we have lots of activities uh, that can help you grow your uh, professional and academic career and not only that we have Omen in nuclear chapter where Omen and man both can join and that is more towards make Omen successful in their nuclear career and we also have nuclear science design team where this is more geared towards realistic projects like you can give example like uh, nuclear robotics like uh, reactor design for space systems and what not and these projects are realistically and logistically driven towards the nuclear industry you can reach us at nuclear at mst.edu 
or 573-341-4720. You can use that to arrange a visit, uh, to tour the reactor, to meet with faculty, or just to request more information. We hope you learned a lot in this video and how you could potentially use nuclear engineering to solve tomorrow's problems and to power the devices we use today.